Let us begin. Millions of years ago, Shinnok, one of the Elder Gods, turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth Realm. Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earth Realm. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods to enact the Mortal Kombat tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earth Realm a chance. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder Gods' rules. The war moved to the arena, where he sent his toughest fighters to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Two years ago, we beat him. But Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. Most of Earth's defenders, our friends, were killed, turned into evil undead warriors. Despite the odds, we stopped Shao Kahn's invasion. As punishment, the Elder Gods destroyed him. We thought the long nightmare was over. But it turns out that Shinnok had been manipulating events. Shao Kahn's invasion, his death. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. I could see how people would assume that was uh, not Onaga's design. Yeah, the horns and the wings and all that, but still. Ooh, chapter 1, Johnny Cage. Destination, head ahead. Set her down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major? How cute. All right, you have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. Where there's an angry former elder god and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. <laughs> the world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's temple. He means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not going to let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Nether Realm. Yeah, that did not sound good at all. The plane just suddenly shifted right now. Fireballs. I do not know to shoot fireballs. Oh shit, that was Scorpion. Let's see, yeah, just put autopilot kick in, autopilot. Oh, speak of the devil, there he is. Damn, I'm yeah, quick camera guns, they ain't no close. These aren't nothing. Yeah, you try playing Ninja Boy bad. That's ridiculous. 
Oh no, that's sprinkle. Sprinkle. Damn it, Pinky, why did you do that? Should have flew out. Oh, hello, Sub Zero. You miss me. <laughs> That's it. I think he still gets up after being hit like that. Yeah, you could buff that stretch out, it's no big deal. Hmm. Oh, hello. Man, this guy doesn't have to give up, does he? No! Yeah, it's just a little on fire. It's still good. It's still good. It can still fly. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Alrighty then, hello everyone. And this is my lofty world story mode of Mortal Kombat X. Now it's a disclaimer. I don't claim to be the best Mortal Kombat follower there is. Trying to make me an arrogant asshole, which I am not. Although I do have to say the graphics and design in this game are a whole lot better than they were in MK9. And I like how the characters are better mocap this time around because we played the previous version. Then, yeah, you'll see they're walking around like. Yeah, uh, okay. I think you see a kid play with an action figure. Oh, those extras. Get back to the chopper. Sonia, get out of there! And if this guy survived the fall, I don't see how. Oh, that's random a crowbar. How convenient. was unpleasantly cold.
Oh, video game physics. The one thing I'll make you question. How is it they survive all these x-rays? I mean, you see organs rupture, you see the bones crack, and whoo, they look very painful. And yet, they're still walking around. Look at some of them. Why are you moving? You would not be moving, but... Eh, if you overthink, overthink things, it takes some fun out of stuff. Yeah, the flying demons, they have the design of the Naga has the green... The green ish, but the Naga is still green. You have the white horns, you could fly. He didn't have a pointed tail though, that's for one thing. He did not have a pointed tail though. I don't think Onaga would have fit in this game though, honestly. I mean, he fit in um, Armageddon, that's one unit that fit well in, but... I don't know, they didn't clarify what happened to him after Armageddon. I liked it better when we fought on the same side. Okay? We fared better than the men. Add him to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. Meanwhile, we're at this sky temple. Wow, look at all those demons. Let's see, we have Fujin and Ray Raiden fighting them off. Right for the ear. Ouch. Ow, that needs to be Oh wait, he didn't get his ear. It doesn't look like he got a scratch at all. Ah shit, there's more of them. Against <laughs> Raiders? Fortify the portal's defenses below. No, Fujin. It is too late. Oh, come on. A little electric firewall couldn't help with that? Oh, look. It's Quan Chi. For once, he does not look goofy at all. The mighty gods of Earth. Still arrogant, though. You be foul these hallowed grounds, Quan Chi. Be gone. Surely you are pleased to see your friend. Striker, Sindel, and Cabal. You abandoned them to their deaths. I returned them to life. A life worse than death. One you will soon share. And my lord himself shall witness your fall. Yeah, actually, Sindel was the one who killed most of the characters off in MK9. But yeah, Raiden did take off, but then how is he supposed to know that Sindel is resurrected? So it doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, plot holes. What would we do without him? Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, Night Wolf. I forgot about him. He got yeah, he died taking out Sindel though. Night Wolf. That wasn't very nice. This is your last mission, son. The real 
Uncle Jax wouldn't punch his best friend. Johnny Cage, killing you will be a pleasure. Yeah, dude, is he still mad? Yeah, first, I guess that's why they say first impressions count for everything, but still, dude, you gotta get over it. You gotta get over that. We're gonna fix you someday. Well, nice seeing them again. Sonia, that's not him. The elevator? Yes, the elevator. Sento contains the souls of my ancestors. They guide me. Could they hurry the hell up? Dude, it's a sword. It's not a magic wand. Actually, if it was a magic wand, all this stuff wouldn't be happening, but still. Stay here. Close the door. What is that? Brick or C4? Really? You couldn't have blown them all back? Really? All that power. There's. Uh. This is not the great move. Well, 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 this is the fallen god Shinnok. You see it now, Raiden. Your legacy. You poison their hearts with hope. And what do you offer? The same as you did millennia ago, when you betrayed your fellow Elder Gods and attacked Earthrealm. We stopped you then, imprisoned you in the Netherrealm. We will do so again. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. My followers accept this and live on. They fight for me. Well, if you describe them being more like puppets on a string, then yeah. 
Ooh, right in the shoulder plate. Ow! That's why I shouldn't let children play with sharp knives. Ah, dude, that's a face! Ow, god damn it, that hurt my ears. Yeah, now you know how I feel. Well, all this trouble all because of the little slammer. That's what it looks like. It looks like a slammer with a green gem glued on it. Will not touch the Jinsei. Oh, I will. And all of Earthrealm will learn the truth. Of death. <laughs> Well, that was convenient. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't Damn. see you there. <laughs> Miserable wretch! Insignificant speck of feculent scum! How dare you! Wow, a really strong person offended me. I'm really pissed. That is mine. I don't see your name on it. Consulting, using one arm to fight him. Ooh. Ooh, that cracks some ribs. I'm not sure what just happened to me, but I am sure of this. You don't even think of hurting her. Okay, so, so that's what triggered that green glow. Okay. You know, it's amazing how this game takes place 25 years after anything else. Yeah, I'm really excited. And we'll see the story and because of the DLC characters that they announced in the combat pack. Are a fallen elder god. Ooh, really? <laughs> Johnny Cage, the amulet. Oh, you mean this thing? Keep away.
enjoy the new days, Gramps. Not gonna lie, Shinnok did look like a woman. With all those wrinkles. Sonia? Johnny. <laughs> did we? Yeah. We got him. Remain here. The chamber's properties will heal Sonia Blade in short order. We're concerned with you, Rain. You got those wounds in your shoulder. Quan Chi and the others, they're gone. A surge of power within the chamber overwhelmed my senses. We can deal with Quan Chi later, Kimchi. We've netted a bigger prize this day. Shinnok's amulet. And within it, old Fishface himself. Let us take the amulet to the Elder Gods. They cannot destroy it. No one can. They might offer counsel. Shinnok can never escape. He should have slept with the Elder Gods. Would have been a lot simpler. The war is not over. Quan Chi has escaped. Why are you smiling? She called me Johnny. Oh yeah, she never called him by his first name. Wow, his hair is gray. Raiden told me later that I'm descended from some Mediterranean war cult. Bred as warriors for the gods. I've never been able to resummon that green halo. Raiden thinks it was triggered when I saw a loved one about to die. How about you, Cassie? Can you summon anything like that? Or did it skip a generation? Take it easy, Jin. We didn't need a halo in Darfur. Or Iran. Or Kurdistan. Did we, Jesse? Nope, we didn't. Shaolin monks ever send you there, Jin? I've seen plenty of action. Takeda and I both. Stuff that blow your special forces mind. At ease. You're all here because you deserve to be. You're beautiful and unique snowflakes. Now, as I'm sure you're unaware, judging from the lack of gift cards, today is our team's six-week anniversary. Secretary Blake says he's pleased with our progress. We could spit in his hair and he'd be pleased with our progress. He was smart enough to have Mr. Cage flip his team together. I'm glad the Shira Ryu chose me to join. New places, new faces. Cute. As the secretary pointed out, us older folks are going to retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. Shaolin, Shirai Ryu, SF. Together. For your team's first mission, you're going to the Lin Kuei Temple. We haven't heard from the Grand Master in a while, so we need to make sure he's still on our side. That he's got our backs if things flare up again with our world. We need to bring him in. But don't be surprised if Sub-Zero's not willing to cooperate. Why be worried about Outworld? I thought Kotal Khan respected the Reiko Accords. He does, but he's facing a civil war. If the Rebels win, those Accords will be history. 